So all we're going to be doing now, it, because we've already made our action plan, where we're going to take the grams of propane, convert it to moles of propane. For moles of propane, we're going to go to moles of oxygen. For moles of oxygen, we're going to go to grams of oxygen. And we know what we're going to use at every point. We're just going to go ahead and set, up, set this up and solve the problem. Okay, so you always start with what you're given. The only number that we're given here is 22 grams. Let's go ahead and scoot that back down. Don't know why it's so wiggly. Oops. 22 grams of propane. Okay, so the next secret step, and the secret to my success with this, is that you label all the things. Because this is not just grams. This is grams of propane, and that is very important. Okay, because grams of propane can only cancel with grams of propane. It does not cancel with grams of oxygen or grams of CO2 or grams of water. That does not work. It has to be exactly identical. 0 0.2 grams, so I always write in C3H8 something so I can keep track of what is what. Okay, so we're starting with the very first thing we're given, 22 grams of propane. We're including what it is, propane. Okay, so we know from our action plan, we're going grams of propane to moles of propane, and we're going to do that with the formula weight. And using the periodic table and knowing that there's three of carbon, carbon's molecular weight's 12, and then eight of hydrogen, hydrogen's molecular weight is like 1.008. We know that adding that all together gives us 44.1 grams. So I'm gonna write it over here, 44.1 grams of C3H8 equals one mole of C3H8. Okay, so grams of C3H8 is on the top, so we need to put 44.1 grams of C3H8 on the bottom gives us one mole of C3H8. And I know it looks like a lot of writing, but really it's important. So now the grams of C3H8 cancel. Now we have moles of C3H8. So we can move on to the next part. So now we're here. This is where we're at. Now we need to go from moles of C3H8 to moles of O2. Okay, and we know we need to put moles of C3H8 on the bottom, so that means moles of O2 is going to be on the top. And the numbers that we're going to put here, I'm going to use maybe green, are going to be from the balanced equation. So we're using the balanced equation to figure this out. So we know for every one mole, because if there's no number, that's a one, one mole of C3H8, we need five moles of O2. So we're just going to write that down. One mole C3H8 from the balanced equation we know gives us five moles of O2. And now you see why it's important that we label what is propane and what is oxygen. Because we cannot cancel these moles. These are different. But we can cancel the moles of C3H8 here with the moles of C3H8 here, even though I wrote it as a three. It is actually an 8. Okay, so that's using the balanced equation. That's exactly how you do it. We know for every one part of C3H8, we need five parts of oxygen. That's where that came from. Okay, moving on to final part here. We now are left with moles of O2, and we know we can go from moles of O2 to grams of O2 using the formula weight of O2. Looking at the periodic table, 2 times 16 gives us 32.0 grams of O2 equals 1 mole of O2. Okay, so we're just going to add that on in now. And we have to make sure moles of O2 is at the bottom, and we only have one mole of that, so 1 mole of O2, and that is equivalent to every 32.0 grams, and I'm writing O2 again. You see moles of O2 here cancels with moles of O2 there. And now we solve this equation, and what we're left with, because all the other units have canceled, is grams of O2. So you multiply the entire top, you can get a number, then divide it by the entire bottom, 
or you can um, multiply this divide by that multiply by that there's a million different ways to get the correct answer here correct answer being let's write in yellow because it's fun 79.8 grams of O2 okay so now why did we have to go moles to moles with a balanced equation. Let's go ahead and look at this. We know it's in a 1 to 5 ratio. One, one mole of C3H8 for every 5 moles of O2 according to our recipe. If we look at tw the answer here, 22.0 grams of propane is what we were given. Why didn't we just multiply that by 5? Wouldn't that give us the same answer? We'll go ahead and multiply this by 5. That number is well over 100. That is not the correct answer. The masses are in different ratios. The moles are what's in the 1 to 5 ratio. And that's the important piece. That's the part you have to remember. You cannot skip the importance of converting to moles. And then the only way to get from moles of one thing is to moles of another thing is with the balanced equation. That's the only way you can look at two different parts of this chemical equation.